to me. Oh, y'all didn't even listen. We're not mad. We're trying to like tie these things together. We're trying to see how it. Like, what, what, yeah, what was, your, what was it, point? You know what I mean? What I was saying is, is as confused it. as the younger generation sound about what to do in dating and relationships and, and what marriage looks like, <clears throat> conversations weren't had on the women's side either. Like as far as I remember when we had a show and we had boomers, we had millennials, we had Gen Z on, Gen X on. And when we listened to the our parents' generation, they didn't explain things to us. And they were in the house. Majority of us were latchkey kids. It wasn't like our moms were in the home. They were not there. So we had to figure it out too. And then it was really, we had to figure it out after we already did it. Then they want to have a conversation with us. And then they still spoke to us in parables. They yep. still spoke to us about what not to do, what what this looks like, but not what it is. Y'all see what just happened, right? Like we right back at the top of, like even if she's right, let's say she's <laughs> right. What we're doing now is making excuses again for it instead of going saying, hey, we're trying it's to make solutions. Hold on, Lauren, hold on, Lauren. Instead of saying, hey, this is what happened. This is where we are now, and this is what we're going to do moving forward and what we're going to tell the youth. But what we're doing now is we're going to we're, – no, we are. We're going to do excuses again. First, we're going to talk about women being hoes because their mother was hoes. But then now we're, gonna, we're not going to talk about black men being leaders because their father wasn't a leader and they had a bad mother. We're going we gonna to use this excuse for women. We're not going to use it for men. Nobody cares about what happened to men. No, we're going to use what, it. What, what, it's, what I what hope would happen – conversation. What I hope would happen is what you said, right? But but I think she's introducing the fact that you understand where them kids come from before you before you go at them in a particular way. So she's saying, do we have that consideration for the women who potentially got raised up how we got raised up? That's all. Yes, yes. Yeah. This is why men. Get, this is why men get married to the, today's women. This is why men keep giving grace to these women. Men are actually giving grace to women. Okay. Women are not giving grace to men. Their standards and expectations are so high that men can't meet it. Men will date the hoe. Will marry the hoe. We'll marry the women with 10 bodies, the baby mamas and all these strippers and the only fans. Entertain them all. We're telling men not to entertain these women. We, we double talk. So if we in a, if they got to get married, we got to entertain the, the hoes. So either we're going to entertain the hoe that follows us or we can't get married to the hoe that doesn't follow us. But we're moving the conversation away again from the men. And, and it, it's point, it becomes pointless again instead of going back to where we need to go. That's all I'm saying. No, and, and just real hey, Ham, can I ask you a question, though, Ham? Yeah, after Miss Fantastic goes. Well, I was just gonna say this, and 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 Lauren, I get what you're saying. Even if you you're saying you were told, but not told directly <laughs> the rhyme and the reason. Again, that's what I I I feel you. But then at the same time, like I said, if you're making poor decisions and you came up and your parents gave you the proper guidance, which again, I mean, you're younger than us, Lauren. So I think you'll be a younger millennial. You'll be like on the back end, right? But what? still, that's what I'm saying. This is fantastic. This nigga's 38. Oh, she 38? Oh, nine, shit. 38. She's a dinosaur. I'm not add years, okay? Okay, so either way, however it is, that's, that's all I'm saying is this. Like I said, <laughs> we're, we're not in the same boat as Gen Z is. We're not in the same boat as the generation after us is. This is why... We, Gen Z and boomers, I don't know what that is. Well, the difference between Gen Z and, and millennials is actually Gen Z are asking more questions and not Lord. just responding. Well, no, it's not, not about let, let Mr. Okay. Fantastic finish his point. They're right? actually they're actually suffering from what you're talking about, Lauren. Gen Z has the biggest population of single mothers and no fathers and all that shit, and all of this rainbow shit and whatever else. So that's that's a whole nother thing for another day. But I'm I'm saying is to the point of where you can't start with us as to saying we didn't have the connection. Because like I said, I, I think most of us experience our grandfathers and we hold them near and dear, grandfathers and grandmothers, we hold them near and dear for a reason. Because they were, you know what I'm saying, points of reference yeah. and reason. And, and you're, you're right. I was arguing the father point, but you're right about that point. That's 100%. what's critical about what Fantastic is saying, too, because if people didn't have their mother and father, they still had their grandparents that were involved as well, too. A lot of our friends were raised by their grandparents, too. We want to keep it real. They still had certain ideals that was being presented to them. Our whole yeah, we keep equating the, like the project community to all black community. 
and we pretend like all of us was raised in the projects and all of us was raised with a certain mindset when people had mothers and fathers and if yeah. they didn't have mothers and fathers to stay together i think it, from eight, 1980 to 19 in the, to the 90s it was it was 46 percent two parent uh household in the black community but people were still being raised by their grandparents as well too and the yeah. ideals were still being taught yeah uh, ali you're right i i and but with that construct there's a there's a lack of discipline there with grandparents just because they can't keep up in the same way well but, you know, but i've seen yeah. that a lot with the grandparents but, not dismissing them but you know what i mean there's a there's a nuance there with grandparents. a lot of those a lot of those families the kids still they live with their grandparents so they, 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 there was parents in the house with grandparents as well you okay. know it wasn't like it was just the grandparents taking care of the kids <clears throat> i mean yeah, one yeah. of the things is but we, that was we, a good point mr pan you don't gotta what was your question uh, yeah, Ali, question, good point though. Good point. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna you know my, my question was can more than one thing be true at the same time? Because on this panel, we were talking about you know baby boomers where we had a lot of marriages, right? The marriages didn't start falling apart since then. Everybody didn't get married out of desperation, like people say on these panels. All my aunts and my general, they had jobs, they had pensions, they weren't with their husbands because they were desperate, they were educated and everything. And so the infrastructure that was built in some black families is still strong today. And and it, it's and the and the, the generations that got looser, people did train. Maybe they didn't sit down with their daughters and gave them the birds and bees, but some of some parents did. Right? My whole my whole thing with my kids well, and it's my you, anecdotal. Well, I'm gonna just go anecdotal for a second. Well, you said some twice, so I just want to Okay, make okay. Sure. I won't say oh, some. Okay. Bro, but, but I want to understand I'm, it. Do you think that your parent, your your family would be the minority? I'm thinking about it because I don't want to say we were unique. Probably back in the day it was like the average family. Well, it wasn't, it was not, it was a minority because a lot of people clung to our family because of how close we were. <clears throat> yeah. It was other families like that. You yeah, know? but my, minority though. Yeah, yeah, it probably was. Yeah, we're, we're not denying like, the existence that it didn't you happen. To, no, but, what I'm saying, but what, 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 what I'm saying is we're not saying you deny the existence except in the conversation because we always point to the negative. You have to what bring is, a time and place yeah. where sexual liberation and feminism was I, I did in the 60s. The pill was, so, came out in 1960. The, the oh, sexual yes. revolution from 60 to right. 80. We still taught men to be responsible. We still taught men to be leaders. We still taught men to be about the community. We we right. told women they didn't have to get married. They can have sex with who they want to. They can have premarital sex. They can be porn stars. They can be strippers. They can be prostitutes. And by the time they get 30 and 40, and you know what? These dudes will marry you. Y'all yeah. delay marriage, but men will still marry you. Yeah, can I say what you just said in a different way, Ali? I mean, I mean, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. I, I thought you was, I, I heard the point, the point about the, the sex. I'm still moving. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I was, you know, to tell you this, I was raised with the arrow respecting my elders. I cherish my elders. I want the information from my elders. But the, a lot of the elders still are making the conversation about what they want to talk about instead of what the root issue is. Our women are the foundation of families. It's not the men. It's women. Okay. They set the market up for what makes a man want some someone to marry to or who they want to have sex with. You can't mm -hmm. take that responsibility of them. And if we had daughters and the, the point is we're either doing this for sex and validation from women or we tell the truth when we're raising young men and boys his job is to be able to produce and take care of a family one day and her job is to sustain her birth her chastity and be valuable until she gets a husband she's failing she's yeah, having okay. when I we like a man is getting sex from a woman before he ever even makes one dollar and then when we produce ourselves and get a career she had already been ran through uh, Ali, let, me, let me just throw this out. Let me just say this real, Jay. Listen, what you just said about the sex thing, well, you know, men created the pill, right? When the pill came out, let me just give you just a little bit of how I look at when the pill came out. It, it freed women to have sex indiscriminately. It wasn't just like people told them to go fuck. What happened was it just, it changed their dynamic. And all the women who had, oh, the baby boom was like 16 to 14 to 16 when the pill was out there a lot of mothers put their daughters on the pill whether wait let me just finish Ollie. whether they were having sex or not when they did that when they did that it changed the dynamics for those young girls because now they they, they said shit, man i'm on this pill so now i can start having sex and they were starting to have sex earlier earlier because they had the pill 
And so the so, so everybody keeps over glossing the dynamics of that birth control pill can change sexual mores in our country forever. It certainly so did. Why do you keep talking about men being leaders to women I who don't? I didn't, I didn't no, no, that. no. Our pain. You keep going to. We make excuses for women constantly. I'm not going making excuses for that. Going I'm just making excuses. Oh, listen, listen, how it listen. is. We're not being men. We're just not I'm being not, men. I'm not I'm making, making an excuse. Okay. What you just said, I agree this. with. I, I think mean, women control the sexual mind. What's the problem? And okay, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. What's the problem? And then the solution. The men have to do this, and the women have to do this. The women have to protect their virtue. To, it ain't the men have to do this, and women can do whatever they want to do for their self-preservation, self-love and happiness. It's not so we have to talk to women. We can't keep telling the men to be about the community. Women and should be talking we, to we themselves too, men, right, Ali? Our pain. Let me finish, and I'm almost done. We can't okay. tell men to go chase women to pay their bills, and we are gonna get married, and then they push for divorce too. Uh, uh, yeah. So let me ask you this quick thing. Good. Good. You speaking from a perspective of like I, which I get get your perspective, right? You come from a man, and I'm not necessarily saying that what you're saying is absolutely wrong. You said, but well, we just make a statement saying that a, you know, the, the woman's supposed to be sitting out waiting for a man to come and marry her, or take care of her, and stuff like that. With the, in today's time, let's say you had a daughter, multiple daughters, whatever the case. In today's time, with the set of men that we have, would you have your daughter to sit around and wait on these type of men to take care of them, knowing how to? knowing the way how men is today most men are great men black most 70 percent 57 percent of black men is the middle class you want to teach your daughter to just not focus on her own careers her own self-sufficient just case let's say you die her mama died and the only thing she got is to depend on that one man for the rest of her life until she died mm -hmm. you, you you got that much trust in these men of 2024 I definitely do. Yes. I don't know about that. Because y'all so used to listen to what women say. Most men are principled. Most men want to move the right way. They And they move the right way. Majority of y'all don't get sex. You can't say most of y'all don't get sex and do everything you can to get a woman in sex. And they say mo most men aren't good when, this, when the data shows that most, men, most of us, the average man, is moving it a good way. Over 50% 50, 50 of men are childless and don't uh, are childless and single. They're not having babies out of wedlock. Like no, you you wrong. You wrong. No, no, you wrong. Just walk it down. Wrong. I'll be like, wrong. Wrong. You, no, you wrong. Like for real. Like you wrong. What? So okay, so tell me what makes those yeah. wrong. wrong. I'm I'm well, I'm gonna tell you for one, if you look at it, there's a lot of men that live off of women or live off a of family member. No, there's not. No, oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Well, yes, not it anything. is. So, hold so, wait on, hold on. On. so you so, mean to tell me a man that has a baby with a woman that doesn't put his name on the birth certificate, <laughs> who gets the credit for that child? The woman, right? Yeah, what you mean? So if men keep on having babies and the, no, nobody knows about the baby because his name's not on the birth certificate. Yeah, okay. He's the only on. one that's giving credit. Well, I'm, I'm saying in, where I, in my state, and I live in the state of Kentucky, in right, my right. state, okay. there is okay. there is a, a high rate of men having babies, not taking care of them, living off of women, living off of them, whether they're in Section 8 or in the projects here, because we still have projects here. See, mm -hmm. you can do that in your state. I'm telling you about my state. Yeah, but that's I, your assumption, though. I promise you, if we did the numbers, it wouldn't. Would, numbers, and, right, right. And, and, and the man is still not going to go right because you have plenty of men that are not taking care of their kids. And to be and to be honest, and to be honest, hold up. And to be honest, like I said, there is a high ratio of men who do not have their own places heard. I can say that because a lot, majority of the men in my family live off of the women or live with and some of oh, us. Oh, in my family. Family. No, that's me, anecdotal. That's your family. Okay, that's well, I, family. I, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it real because, I mean, to me, <laughs> that was part of the problem. And when Lauren was really speaking about everything, that was what she was saying. Nobody could come to a solution because really? nobody was being respectful <laughs> at all. Y'all didn't pay attention to what she was saying. And she, what her whole main thing was, 
how can the women get it right if the men can't even get it right and the men are supposed to be the leaders? Not that was the whole thing. No, but y'all brought it down because you had your agenda just like we was talking to the young yeah. guy. Not no, your agenda was as soon as you came up, you bashed the black woman. We we can't even get it together as a whole right now. But it's the black woman's fault. No, it's our fault, man. And I can say it because I'm 48. Didn't you didn't you just say that it was our problem? Our problem, right? It's our problem, right? So if we're not gonna show each other the same respect, and then we can't respect each other, then bash the only black woman that's on the panel. Does that make sense? Is that grown? I, we, me and Lauren have a great relationship. You, I, you I'm not sister. saying that. See, you ain't heard what I said. I ain't talking you, about the relationship. You, I'm saying about what she you said. Everybody you, just listen to respond. We have a great relationship. Then you tell me what she said when 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 everybody got wiped off the panel. Break down exactly what she said and not have him do it. You're rambling for women right now. I'm not rambling. I'm rambling for I want no all of us to respect it. each other. Hold on, all the men on the panel, all the men, all the all the men on the panel. If you raise a daughter, and we say I'm raising get, a daughter, if, yeah. If she gives access to sex and allows herself to get pregnant, is that the, would you blame her or the well, man? She's twelve, so I ain't even thinking about it. If she gets pregnant, I would blame her. You ask a question. I'm asking. But I would. I would. I would blame. So, her. My so I, I would blame her. I would blame her. You know why? Yeah. Because I I disagree with you talking about these niggas is is, is good men and work. <laughs> nah, I do not trust them niggas. That's why I'm gonna give my daughters yeah, all right. the skills they need, and yeah. so therefore she will be implicated because she should be responsible enough. What is she, I don't what trust. Is wait a minute, because I don't trust the men out here to to make good decisions or to be able to take care of her to change the fucking tire. To be a hundred percent honest, uh, and most of them can't even tie a tie. Because when that. JP asked the real question, and I'm really outside, I'm seeing a lot of shit that I don't condone or support. Niggas is pussy. Yeah. Niggas cry too much for me. I can't deal with this shit. So if I have daughters, I'm gonna make sure they well prepared. Therefore, if she open her legs, she gonna be implicated because she gonna be educated right. enough and supported enough by her father to know what's right and wrong. So let's walk it down like you say. What makes most men pussy? Um, they can't change the tire. They can't fight. They can't shoot. They can't do shit that men used to be able to do. So a man not niggas is a out of work. Niggas is out of work. Niggas is on the streets. Niggas ain't going to trade school. Niggas ain't going to college. You talk about a minority of black men, hell. Huh? Why you don't? We don't wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. So here's the thing. Minority, whatever. But we are the majority in everything that's negative, right? So then, so then here, because here's the thing: we we claim black we claim black gay men for the sixty four percent in the middle class, right? But then we would, but then we also cut them from us and everything else. So if you if you exclude them from the sixty four percent, I guarantee it'll drop below half. But but right. like you, well, but hold on hold on, fantastic, hold on. But then you say nope still, nope no, 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 impossible. Let me. Fantastic! Please hold on. You said you, you said she's still wrong because she's rewarding sorry man. So if we gonna concede to your point, it's still her yeah. fault, right? I so said it's her fault. I said okay. it's her fault because she understands those men. Those men are at a deficit. If the men are sorry and they can mm -hmm. get sex without nothing, why buy why buy the cow if you can milk it for free? Does that make men sorry if they can get sex for not having to do anything? If they can't get change tire? Because yeah, the women because, hold on, hold yeah. on, and you got it, you got it right. You back. said they they're say, good men. You said they they're say, good men. No, 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 no. Listen, we say they say men are not leaders. They say men are not marriageable. They say mm -hmm. men are weak. Man can't do nothing. They are having sex with those guys. They are rewarding those guys. So if we're gonna say that, then it's still their fault for giving sex to those men. I'm saying them them niggas is pussy. Give a fuck what the women saying. I think that's the overarching issue if we really want to talk about it. But but here's the thing. That's why it's her fault because he don't deserve it. Now, let me ask you: You call the men good? What makes them good if they having sex with women with, with, with no with no with no um goal for them? If they having sex with women with no goal for them? Yeah, that make, that's what me and the men. Hold on, so let's walk this down very slowly. Very, very slowly, because yeah, you said really good. Cool. So you what makes a man good? It's that she demonstrated his value by giving him sex. That's what makes him good. I didn't say valuable. I didn't say valuable. You ain't getting out of that one. Nah, you ain't getting out of that one, man. Come on, be real. Quit with the bullshit, man, for your own hold on, nerve. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Ali. Go, ahead, Ali. My bad. 
if she he is getting sex from that woman, it, it, it shows that he's valuable. Good. If you're saying good and if you're saying good and moral, that's questionable. I can give you that about being good and moral, right? But she's demonstrating his value. I can't Ali, go, I can't Ali, do it. We, Ali, you go. said good, Ali. <laughs> well, I, I say, even if I say okay, even if I say good men, most that's men not, that I go okay, ahead, go ahead, my man. Most go ahead, go ahead. I come across most black men are handling their responsibility they respect okay. their mother they respect their grandfather they respect their fathers it, like y'all say most fathers and the men I, and i ain't gonna do the anecdotal most men yeah. that i come across respect mm -hmm. people most men have charisma most men that i come across have personality they have a sense of humor they have to have all this to even interact with women they they're demostrating qualities to get women but the they're good men that I come across. stop 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 no 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 so right. most men most men are intentional it makes them good i don't see most men most men aren't killing most men aren't raping most men aren't hurting people most men are have integrity about themselves and most men that, that will say they're even decent people good it can be a stretch if i'm saying someone can cons consistently doing right 100 right but for the most part most men are good men let me ask you a court let me okay now you saying he having access to as many women as he can right that adds mm -hmm. to his value does that make yes. him a whoremonger? No. So he if he has sex with as many men as I said, whoremonger, not whore. No, it makes him a reality base because if we know most of these women are not marriageable, that's what this is what we tell men on the panel is. But, but Ali, he's but yes. but by definition, he's a whoremonger. Like you remember Killmonger, because he was yes. racking up body, so he was a killmonger, right? So if I, okay. I can see to you, say he's a whore whoremonger, right? Is he valued by men and women? Yes. 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 That's now. From the, so from the beginning of time, the men who got the most women are the most valuable to men and women from the beginning of time. And it's still that way. If I, if we had all the women on the panel had sex with me and y'all married her, I'm the most valuable man. Yeah. Are you good? What, the ba We already talked about the basis of what good is. So, that, but but that's a, that's see that's the point that we're having the, the conversation about. You said okay. most men are good. Yeah, but right? yes, most most I'll still say most men are good. I would have to agree with that though, Hamp. Hamp. Well, hold on. That's what I'm saying. So, the first off, we, first off, Hamp. I can't believe we can't do that, bro. We can't do the gay the gay nigga shit. We claim. Bro. No, all I'm saying is we claim them for that 64 percent stat. You know. Yeah, that, but 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 Hamp. If okay. they make up, that's that's what y'all y'all kill me. Y'all start yeah, talking I, about. I exaggerated when I said it would drop less than 50. All right, that's all. Come on, because they only make up two percent of the fucking population. So if you take out two percent, yeah. that's not going to affect the fucking numbers at all. Well, okay, it'll, we it'll affect the number. Though. It'll huh? take over because of the disparity. The reason, why, well, yeah, because here's the thing: the disparity in the income, right? So if if you take me out, like how many, how many, um, how many uh billionaires do we have? A few, like a, a few of them. None of them are gay. None of them are gay. We're not gonna lose any. Not gonna lose any of those. No, no, Robert no. Smith's no. not gay. Uh, you're right. Kanye's you're not gay. Right. <laughs> so that's so you're hurting your argument. No, I'm not. I'm saying because you just they looking at the money, but if you yeah. remove. If you move two percent from the ninety-eight percent, hemp, you, that's not going to have enough a significant of a change. Especially like you say, when the people are at the top, gay men are not at the at the the, the not even close. precipice or the, the tip close. top of earners, bro. It's not yeah. true. Gay men are. Oh, gay couples oh, are. No. Gay couples are. Couples yeah. are. No, gay yeah, couples yeah, yeah, yeah. are. I guess my exactly together. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I guess my only. Know. Let's get that I, straight first. I, I guess my only question for Ali would be because I'm, I'm not. I don't necessarily disagree with him, but more as like the average man makes like fifty thousand dollars right is, is that even possible to raise like a family of, of two on fifty thousand dollars obviously like, it uh, is most people are doing it black well, no, well i'm saying that that most people are at have dual incomes most people no, aren't just like relying no. on one the the black the black woman is the biggest breadwinner in the black community now 83 percent of black women are the black uh, breadwinner because because of being single mother. yeah but that's what i'm saying they're, they're still dual income Actually, so, no it's not dual is it black, not? black women are taking their care of their children by themselves well excuse me uh in a, in their home by themselves black men are still involved with their kids but they're they're raising kids by as single mothers so yeah. men can take care of a family most men can still take most black men can still take care of a family yeah we have again black it's the, the, reason life, why black I came it's the lifestyle of what black women are expecting that becomes a problem our mothers my mother was it, her focus was raising the family. She didn't care about luxury. She didn't get care about getting the, the, all the shoes, all the clothes, the biggest house, the biggest cars. 
she cared about the well-being of her family and raising her family just like the man did he went to work to bring everything from my mom to cook my mom to clean my mom to maintain the house she wasn't the modern woman and a lot of women back then weren't the modern women most of y'all know y'all had mothers that was focused on you and your well-being focus on luxury and in in, in in the lifestyle 85 percent of the consumers of the uh, 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 uh the producers are women they're making most of the purchase. yeah I, I was just asking because i'm because my everyone knows like my income is showing i'm far removed from that shit. i'm just i'm asking because i hear from a lot of like my friends who's not making as much as i am like it's a struggle just surviving on their own and they're living like you know it's a my, my mother of my child yeah. amazon boxes all outside Hamps, uh wife amazon boxes all outside all all y'all women amazon boxes everywhere everybody's trying to take care of the lifestyle of what a black woman is demanding today that's what's happening we're trying to take care of what she wants we don't go hey what are you say that all men is just good like I, I, we didn't say all I men mean, i think i think i think once you, got a daughter, you will change your mind instantly like if you had that same mindset and i asked you would you have set your daughter out here when you when you not, let's say you pass on and you and you just believing that all of these men are, is good that's dangerous no he said the majority you, you never had a sister or a female cousin ever come to you and you ever had to tell her you need a you, cousin or daughter whatever the case have you ever have you ever told them like you need to leave that nigga alone you yeah, never had a female it. family member when you had to tell them dog you need to leave that man alone that's her Period. fault though that's her fault for choosing an unworthy or unsuitable man uh, not... according to Ali most men are good so she still, so, hold on. Let me, so, hold on. so let me explain it to you so yeah most men can still be good bro and it's a, I don't know why did y'all act like this is crazy most men aren't criminals most men aren't homeless most men aren't unemployed most men aren't abusers okay so that would consider you hold on that would consider you a, a good man. You make an honest living. You don't abuse anyone. You don't, you, 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 you make legal money. Okay. And so what are you talking about? And, and, and majority of people in the world. I mean, majority of people and in the world. Are good, good. Good. Yeah. Okay. That's the point we're making. Most people are good people. Men complain we about were, I, we were talking about the, the whole topic was supposed to be about why the hell are the old heads and the young folk are not getting along Hold and on. this is a prime example because everybody gotta be right man oh don't no. right damn most, like, women, women being. most women got, most women got less crimes most women so according to fantastic logic it, it contradicts Ali's point. If he, if he said, well, make a person good is an honest living, no criminal history, all this other type of stuff. Well, it, it, he just said 83% of women is making way more money. <coughs> don't have I didn't much say more money. money. I didn't, didn't say more that. money. They don't have much as crime as the man. Hey, I'm gonna ask you a question. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you have any friends or family that are males that ask you for money? No. Not one. Not no. one person that you know. No, that's a man. I've you had know. friends. I have. I've had friends that ask me for money before, but none in a consistent basis. If they'll pay me back Monday, I get it back. I'm never. I didn't have a, a most for most male friends. I don't have men asking me for money. Most men are good. Most women are not. So what's the no by, by what by I by say, by? I didn't say most women based, are not based good. on the qualification. Everybody's good. Everybody's good by that. I, so I was like, that's basic as hell. Well, 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 so what are we doing? Are we so, so, are, we so are we gonna break it down? So if you're not good, so we're doing good, bad, mediocre. No, 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 keep on, no, keep going. No, no, keep going. Men ask for women. Men actually like love women and like women. Women are asking for providers. They're asking for certain attributes. But that do I'm you doing. like women though? Do you like? Do you really love our black yeah. women? I'm, I'm a man. I'm no, a man. I don't want to trigger you. Seriously, I, don't want to I want to know. Well, well, well uh, let's not, let's not, let's not do that. Ali yeah. clearly loves black women. I mean, we don't have to do that. Shit. I, well, well, I haven't, I'm, heard, I haven't I'm, heard him say. I've heard him say everything else, but I love men, black women. Most of the men that do love women tell them the truth. Most of the men that don't and use and manipulate women lie to them like you doing in pandering. 
to pander to them. What were you men talking about? I'm not pandering to anybody. Men who love women want them to be with men. You tell them. Man, 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 I don't have to pander to no woman, not, bro. Not Trust not me on that one, bro. This I don't have to. I don't pander to nobody. I just tell the truth. I keep it real, bro. That's all I do, man. I, you can't hit me with this YouTube talking point shit. It's, I got you, shit. Most men ain't living home. That ain't gonna work with me, man. Let me let me be. Let me be. That ain't gonna work with me, man. Do we? So when I was when I was fucking the women and not even knowing their names and all that, right? I ain't treat them bad, but it wasn't shit about them that I cared about unless they were, you know, except for their vagina. Did I love women? Yes. You, yeah. treated, them, you treated women yeah. accordingly. You, yeah. you, but was you, you know, being a good man? Was you being a good man at that time, knowing that you was hormone? No. Hold on. So okay. So this, this, hold on. So this is why. No, this is what you would why? Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. No, that's false. Let's you let's use it. Let's, let's, listen, listen, listen. Hold it, hold it down, hold it down for one boy. second. Hold, hold on, hold on, Mr. Williams. 